Hi Dollar Divas, welcome to Behind the Vanity, I'm Jessica. So today I'm duping another palette. I just love duping these palettes because they're little and they're a luxury palette and, and they seem to be very, very popular. So I always enjoy when I can dupe a palette using eyeshadow in my collection, especially Dollar Tree eyeshadow. So today we'll be duping the new Natasha Denona Mini Crush palette. This is one of those five pan palettes. So by the time this video goes out, it will have already come out. But I know there's a lot of people that don't just run out and buy it. And so if you're one of those people that didn't do that and you're on the fence as to whether or not to go ahead and pick it up, this video is definitely for you. From what I understand, this is a limited edition palette, and I think it comes with a brush, and I believe it retails for $25, just like all of Natasha Denona's five pan palettes. So yeah, we'll be duping it today using Dollar Tree eyeshadow. Um, that's a tough task, so if I can do it with Dollar Tree eyeshadow, the odds are you can do it with whatever is in your collection, whether that's luxury, high end, or affordable drugstore eyeshadow. If I can do what I do today, the odds are you can do it as well, especially if you have a decent sized eyeshadow collection. So I've made a few videos like this before and I will have my duping playlist linked down below in the description box if you are interested in binge watching those videos. I will also have my Dollar Tree makeup and haul playlist if you are here because you love Dollar Tree oriented makeup and haul content. And if you do love any of those things, you are definitely in the right place and welcome to my channel. So yeah, without any further chit chat, let's just go ahead and get into today's video. So if you have seen my videos, you'll know I'm pretty terrible at swatching, but we're gonna, as always, do the best we can. So this palette does not, of course, have shade names. None of these have shade names, but there's only five, so it's easy to keep track. I will have the palette up here so you can follow along and see which color we are on as we go along. And like I said, this is meant to inspire you to look at your own collection. If you don't have the exact palettes that I have, just look at your own collection and see what comes close. And a lot of times, the shadows look the most different in the pan, or in a swatch and the most forgiving place is on the eye. So definitely keep that in mind always when you think you may have shadows in your collection to dupe a palette. And I'll call this kind of like pink metallic shade, shade number one. In the pictures I have seen, the pan makes it look like a more vibrant pink, whereas swatches it seems a little bit lighter, a little bit more of like a pink champagne shimmer. So kind of the two best options in my collection are this shade here in this palette and this eyeshadow single from the B brand or the Beauty Essential brand. And this is in Capable. So as you can see on camera, it's not coming across as pink on camera. And I'm actually gonna go with the single as far as swatching goes because I just think that's a little bit more readily available. So there is the first swatch and it's a little bit champagne, but a little bit, I feel of a little bit of a deeper champagne pink. So I've got kind of two options that I feel kind of dupe the vibe of that shade. Then the next shade is one of the mattes and it's kind of like a pinkish taupe, I would say. And I have a couple options for this as well. Again, this palette here has something very, very, very similar in that shade right there. But if you have any of these little LA Colors, um, I guess you could call them like eyeshadow books, this is in Honey Lavender. And I feel like either of these two shades here are really, really similar. So here are the swatches on my finger. So for the sake of the swatch, I think I'm gonna go ahead with this shade right here. So that right there is what we have so far. So this next shade here is very easy. It's just kind of a rich matte brown. So again, like I said, there you'll have a dozen palettes that have a very similar shade to this. I'm just gonna pick a couple that I have from the Dollar Tree. This is a Dollar Tree find from quite some time ago. It's this LA Colors Beauty Palette. And then another find from the Dollar Tree from years ago. This is from when they were doing like that beauty through the decades line of makeup. This is the Rosy Quad. And of course that dark brown just up there in the corner. So just a couple of rich browns. So I went ahead and laid down a swatch from the LA Colors Six Pan Palette in Beauty. Then the next shade, shade number four we'll call it, it looks kind of like a matte reddish color. Not, quite, not like a true red, but kind of like a matte brick color, we'll say. So again, I get two options for that as well. We can go back into this palette here and go into that shade. Or we can go into this little LA Colors quad in Heat. This, this is a more recent find, and that shade right there, it's like a matte brick color. So this is what both of those shades look like. The one in the Hard Candy palette is a little bit more red than the other one. 
And I'm actually gonna swatch the shade in the heat palette because I feel like it's a lot more readily available. And I do like to make this as easy and accessible as possible. And I have done like, in the last couple days, kind of getting ready for videos, I've done a lot of swatching. See, I literally can't even get eyeshadow off of me anymore. Then the last shade was pretty easy to do. And I actually have four options, so you probably have a lot of options for this as well. Especially with the fact that there's so many of these shades kind of out there. It's just things in the pinks and mauves have kind of gotten very popular over the last couple of years. I would even say if you have the Urban Decay like Naked Cherry Palette, you don't need this at all. And so I actually got like four options. I've got the Rosy Quad and the Beauty Palette like we used a little while ago. Then this palette here has a shade and this is another Dollar Tree find. This is the Hard Candy Top Trendsetters Eyeshadow Collection Palettes. This is in Raining Men. This is actually the third one I've had from the Dollar Tree. So. Like I said, you can't find them all the time, but the odds are you have something in your collection that'll work. So of course, I'm gonna swatch that berry shade. That's the shade right there in the middle. Then in this hard candy palette, I'm gonna go into that shade right there. Like I said, that palette there pretty much has like four out of the five shades. Then in the rosy palette, the shade here up in the corner. Then of course, this shade here in the LA Colors Beauty palette. So here are all four shades. Again, they are pretty much indetectable. They look pretty much all exactly the same. I think the one I'm gonna swatch is this one in here, but they are like literally like all the same. So here are my swatches and I will put up a, another photo. Um, I actually found some swatches on Instagram and I will put them up here as well so you can compare it. So that's what we have. Like I said, you can really dupe the vibe of almost every palette, especially one this small and with a color story I feel has been done quite a bit. Of course, you know, if you really want that amazing Natasha Denona quality, you know, you splurge for something like that. And her five pan palettes, of course, are just a little bite of luxury, you know, at $25. Definitely not a bad deal at all. But I just love to show you that you can look towards your collection if you don't want to accumulate more and more stuff or you want to save money or even just for fun, just seeing what you can create. I do love doing these videos. I do love buying new palettes, but I do love doing these videos as well. So if you enjoyed this video, show me you did by hitting the like button. Share it with anybody you know that may enjoy it, anyone that you know that's contemplating getting this palette or if they want it but money is tight, definitely share this with them. And comment down below if you have purchased this or if you plan to purchase this. Definitely let me know down in the comment section below. Definitely don't forget to binge watch those playlists and those videos that I mentioned earlier. They will be in the description box, so definitely check them out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.